Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Rugged coastlines, rolling hills, and wild rivers that welcome home thousands of wild Atlantic salmon every year. Cape Breton rivers are open to any angler who buys a license, resident or come from away, and locals aren't shy to point out where the fish of a lifetime might be laying. When you're on the Margaree, you, you feel like you're in the big leagues here of salmon fishing and in the salmon fishing world. This river can be spoken in the same sentence with some of the, the great rivers on the planet. There's no more beautiful place than this. I mean, I've been coming here for 39 years, and to this day, I'll be standing there in the flyweed over there, and I'm looking at all the trees and all the, the colors and everything. You can't replace that. Among the rich tapestry of characters found here are those who embody the spirit of what angling once was and should be. Anglers who have found peace and a home in the Marguerite Valley. The river draws them. It whispers tales of a quarry of countless cats, of legends that came before and those that are to come. And they gather. An unlikely brotherhood congregates. From June to October, here at the confluence of the Marguerite's two branches, the Dollar Pool. Life in the Marguerite Valley is idyllic. Smaller than small town, a place where time has stood still. A tight-knit community where people watch out for one another, where doors are left unlocked and dogs can roam free. There's just no way to keep Ella home. She's just gone, right? And you let her open the door and she'd be here one second and then she'd be down at the forks the next, you know, she'd be just gone just like that. I think one year we, we tried to tie her on for the first time in her life because we felt some pressure to do so. And I remember driving home one day and I could hear her crying from like the fire hall down the road. And it just broke my heart, we never did it again. She's had this secret life, and I want to know more about it. I just, I want to know where Ella goes, <laughs> right? Despite spending her entire life on prime salmon water, Ella has never donned a pair of waders or even cast a fly. For the Marguerite does not discriminate in whom it calls. All are welcome, a rare equality on the riverbank. Many a morning, Ella leaves home to join her salmon fraternity. Some days she takes the road, and others, the river leads the way. I don't remember the first time I saw her. It seems like she's been, she's been there forever. But it was funny, when, when I found out how far away she lived, it's like, wow, that's a dedicated dog. Ella's playful, independent, and intrepid nature was evident from the start. A well-known neighborhood vagabond who kept her family up long after dark on her riverside wanderings. You jump in the kayak and you paddle down the river and you're down two kilometers or three kilometers down the river and there's Ella standing on the bank. It's like, how did you get down That's here, Ella? That's the reason like, why the we heck? know where the dollar pool is. It's not because we would go there on our own. Like, we'd be paddling or floating down the river yeah. and would see Ella at yeah. the dollar pool. Yeah. You're supposed to be home. How do you get down here ahead of us? Like... When fishing is slow, Ella passes her time playing with rocks on the beach. But if fish are moving, she alerts everyone by running to sit where the last fish showed. She knows where the fish is. She can locate it for us. Us anglers know exactly what we need to do because if she's looking, there's a salmon over there. She'll be sitting there staring at where the last fish show. Then one will show down there, and she'll go down there, and she'll sit and always know where the last one that showed is. It was always pretty cool when I'd show up, and nobody would be there except the dog. I'm able to tell my client, guaranteed there's a salmon right there in front of her. I'm just still shocked that that many people know Ella. 
it's not just this dog, you know, oh, there's the dog, you know, that dog's always here, well, whose dog is that? It's absolutely amazing that people treat her and talk about her like that. I don't know the owners well, but I know them. They were totally unaware of Ella's stature on the river. I mean, this dog is a legend. I didn't even realize she was a celebrity. She was just like a, she was just our dog, right? Just roaming and being free. Like Ella, the Dollar Pool regulars see hundreds of salmon each season, but their stories are kept on the river. You fish with the group that I fish with. We're all excellent fishermen. I'm just like a sponge. I'm, I'm watching, I'm you know, listening all the time. Once you think you have this, this whole thing mastered, give up and start all over again because you don't know anything. <laughs> Anybody who's, who's become a salmon angler knows that you go through stages. You go through certain stages that you're greedy with information, and then you get past that to a point where it feels good and, it, and, and it's rewarding to share the knowledge and share information with people, and it comes back to you tenfold. Here there is a purity, a love for something bigger than likes and comments. Anglers will come find you to share their most memorable stories. They will let a new angler take their pass, and when they hook up, they love to pass off the rod to someone who has never experienced the bite of an Atlantic salmon before. Being around the people that, that fish every day and being part of that culture of, of anglers on this river that, that are dedicated and fish every day, that's special. You feel that, that belonging to a group of anglers. That's like family. She crosses right there where we cross it for us. She usually gets out at the point there at the southwest because the current takes her down that high bank. She can't get up, but she's, she slowed down quite a bit. You can tell she's getting older. I remember she, she crossed with me one fall, and uh, I had to save her. She looked like she couldn't move, and she was going to the faster water, and I went over, and I grabbed her, and I helped her. I've helped her up once or twice there when she's crossed, going away, going home from, from forks. I've had to help her up the, the, the bank. Ella has pursued a connection with something rare, and she's made her mark as a legend here. Just like the river, time flows on, but Ella's love for Atlantic salmon and the angling community will forever be a chapter in the story of the Marguerite. She has had the best experience running those roads and running the river. Oh, she, she won't be with us forever, and it's just incredible that she's had this amazing life. Um, you know, we, I, I don't regret a thing that we've done with her because she's lived so fully.